Hello and welcome to another Tech Dive tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Movie Studios 14 Platinum. This is uh, Magic's fresh version and we're going through some tutorials here. Uh, as you can probably guess, green screening is the topic from Shia LaBeouf. I figured he'd be the best uh, kind of green screen tutorial guy, not only because it's uh, something that a lot of people are trying to do, but also just because it's going to be fun. So the same principles principles I'm going to be teaching you about green screening apply to your own green screen setups or other green screen things you might pull down like uh, Tobias's green screens uh, are a lot of fun to play with uh, from Arrested Development. If you don't know he's got a bunch of them up or did at one point I don't know if he still does but anyway so uh, what you're doing when you're doing a green screen effect what you're really doing is a chroma key effect and chroma key is just saying um, that you're picking a color isolating it and eliminating it and a lot of times people do a bright blue or a bright green because it's something that you can isolate uh, pretty w independently so that means you won't be isolating his skin color or uh, his pants or something and he won't look like he's floating unless you want to unless uh, you wear like a green costume so you can isolate that color and pull you out of it if you're setting up a green screen some quick tips uh, there's some videos about it and tech dive might make one one day about how to set up a really nice green screen effect but if you set up one you're gonna want kind of what they have here which is you don't see very much shadows you see some darker green some lighter green but all in all it's mostly the same color green if you have a lot of harsh shadows or wrinkles or anything like that that's really gonna mess up the color isolation because you want to have as narrow of an isolation as possible uh, otherwise you're gonna start taking away some things that you want and there's will be no way to not do that it's not magic you do have to help it along a bit another way is uh, they do a pretty good job in this one um, that they stand far enough away from the screen that they don't have a green sheen on their skin now Shia does a little bit and we'll see that when we get in there that there's just a touch of reflection on his skin and that will make it a little difficult to get that perfect green screen uh, feeling but what we're gonna do first is just take a look at the effect in general and then we're gonna talk about how to make the effect work for your environment because uh, something people forget about green screens is you've been lit in a certain way to look good against a green screen but it doesn't necessarily make you look like you're fitting the environment that you're trying to impose yourself in or maybe not yourself but the whatever object or person you've green screen that doesn't always make yourself look like you're naturally there so if there's lots of shadows in the environment you want to impose yourself in then that's gonna be obvious that you're green screen when there are shadows there so that's stuff you gotta think about when you're setting up your environment but without further ado the chroma key effect is what we're looking for it's just right there in alphabetical order and uh, as you notice they got some preset ones we're not gonna do that we're just gonna go with the default and drag it now if you look here here's our main controls alright so one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is click on to your video so you can see the preview window uh, and, and pick something that's kinda gonna give a good general like what you're gonna see the most if your green screen has a lot of light changes like Let's say there's one spot where you're really close to the camera, but another spot where you're not, you're far away from the camera. Divide that into two clips because that's going to change the shadows and things. So you're probably going to want to do two green screens. So tips aside, let's get to the chroma key. Uh, there we go. Um, well, let's try and do something without a lot of motion blur. Mm, and I got my preview set to best so I can really kind of see there we go that's a good kind of crisp shot so uh, just kind of look at the edges and notice that there's a few little white spots here uh, where the lights just kind of glistening that's okay to keep that um, but you're gonna notice it immediately kind of the what's called the kicker is behind him the kicker light and so it kind of gives a white sheen a little bit and that's good that's what you want because that's gonna help you make a definite green screen between him and the actual green screen so first off you're gonna wanna pick the color and you're gonna realize it's gonna kinda want you to manually do it but there's a button right here and this is the actual like dropper that'll help you select the color and you're gonna wanna select the color that you're actually seeing 
So that's pretty close, and we're gonna we're gonna pretend the dropper is perfect right now. Sometimes you can dial it in a little better, um, but that's that's a good green screen. Let's see. So as you notice, there's the low threshold, the high threshold, the blur amount, and the show mask only. Right now, we're not gonna worry about any of these other things. We're just gonna start at the low threshold. So that is just what uh, lower colors you're going to be cutting away, and the high threshold is the higher colors you're going to be throwing away. Without a background, it's kind of harder to tell which one you need to do. Um, the green seems like it's gone, but you're not sure how much it's gone. So if you look at the mask, this is kind of, this is a messy mask, right? The mask is supposed to be just a kind of white outline of him. So there's lots that's there and not there. And you're not going to be able to really tell until it's on a background. So let's move this aside real quick and go to Project Media. Oh, look, I got a stage to put him on. So putting him on the stage, a few things you're going to notice really quickly is this stage I've selected and uh, Shia aren't really going to work because his knees are cut off. Uh, so one way to fix that is first off I gotta get a 16 by 9 aspect ratio so now you can see that looks a little better but still not right so then we're gonna kinda zoom it in a bit and lift it up some and see that's that's better it still feels like he's too huge for the stage so if we can kinda make the stage a little more zoomed in there we go. So that that looks a little more natural, but still yet, <laughs> when you look at them, uh, it's kind of obvious how the green screen's not finished yet. So let's open our effects back up. Uh, to do that, you just hit the FX button right here and start moving it. So you notice that the low threshold actually makes it worse, but you are going to want to do it a little bit because uh, while he might get a little worse, there's still some kind of blur up here that's in almost invisible but when you move the low threshold up it goes away so you kinda wanna do that and make that go away and make it to where it's just the picture you see now move the high threshold down until you can see just Shia you kinda gotta play with it a little bit to find that perfect spot so we're gonna wanna move them both down There we go, that's a little better. So one way to kind of help you with this is the mask. So you'll notice that the white part is the part that's good. And essentially any part that looks like it's just kind of ghosty or patchy isn't done yet. You kind of want a solid white block where you see Shia LaBeouf and you want to see the background elsewhere. You don't want to see anything else like this little cloud of smoke is what it looks like up there, which is just the background that we've not isolated out yet. And I think, so this one, I can tell you, a little troubleshooting, I think we didn't quite get the color on this um, from Shia. So let's repick the color here. And all I did was toggle seeing the effect by this check mark. So I'm toggling it off. I'm going to go back to the color. It looks close, but it seems it's still kind of off. So let's go with maybe a part that was a little brighter, a little different part of the screen. Okay, let's try that. Ooh, okay, that looks a lot better. So that's one thing to do if your chroma key just doesn't seem right. Kind of try reselecting the color because your eyes, you can kind of see it down here where it breaks up the image um, in a more JPEG compressed kind of way. You can see the color gradients a little more specifically where the light is brighter and darker in different spots. And uh, if you if you don't get one that's kind of the perfect middle then you're gonna have a lot of trouble and so I think what the first one I selected was actually this darker one but this next time I got one that was more in the middle so that looks a lot better so right now we just see this nice mask of Shia and the background let's take the mask off oh look at that look at that if you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. there we go so that's a lot better it's still not quite perfect 
sometimes if your green screen is a little off or depending on how it m mixes with the background you can add some blur but you'll notice that the blur doesn't really help you cheat as well as you hope your green screen effect especially if it's a good green screen it's actually going to make it worse so this just takes the hard edges off Shia and makes him look weirder so if you're trying to make Shia the ghost that might that might work but then again you see his background and stuff too so blur is not super helpful to you the only time I've used blur and it's been helpful is when that green sheen I was talking about where his where uh, the subject's skin will look green because they're too close to the green screen and the green is reflecting on their skin the only time I've really seen that um, the blur help is when you have too much of that and you can kind of pump that blur up a little bit and it blurs some of the green out which makes the green screen better it still doesn't look good you're gonna wanna be able to do it without any blur but the blur the blur can be helpful but just don't expect to use it and there we go look at that nice mask so this is a green screen of Shia so Stop if you're there. noticing something that I'm noticing oh. it still looks off right because the colors here are nice and bright and red and well lit and he just looks dim and not very contrasting so something that's gonna be cool is if we go back to our effects we're gonna mess up our green screen and then we're gonna fix it because uh, one thing you want to do before you green screen and I tricked you I told you in the wrong order because I knew if I started teaching showing you this you wouldn't understand what I was talking about um, you're gonna want to make him match your scenery first and then green screen because you will be changing the color of green as you do this so uh, one of the ways that's best to kind of fix your shots is the levels effect uh, I have a tutorial about thir uh, levels in 13 if you want to watch that and eventually I'll have one out for 14 as well uh, but I'm gonna throw the default on it uh, we're gonna take the chroma key off right now maybe toggle it as we work but first thing we want to do is is get the blacks a little more black get the brights a little more bright see the output and input don't always help so they're not helping us right now but there we go that really kinda that really kinda helps Shia pop and helps it look a little more crisp what we've done is increase the contrast so let's play with the gamma a little bit sometimes it's nice to bump that up sometimes it's nice to pull it down sometimes it's about right I think it was about right where it was maybe dropping it just a oopsie maybe dropping it just a touch all right there we go that is a much better looking Shia so if we look at it before and after he looks a lot more 3d a lot brighter a lot he'll match the background a lot better uh, and, and if it was a more complicated background we could do more complicated things to make it match but just keep that in mind you're putting him on your background you want to make him look like he belongs on your background with any green screen so that's without that's with now we look at the chroma key it still looks pretty good. It looks what a lot better. Do it! Oh man, it looks a lot better. One of the reasons it's a little off is because I'm using a picture instead of video behind it, and I'm just being lazy. Uh, best practice is to use video on video because it'll just look more right to your eye. Um, oh, see, this is motion blur, right? So it's not. Uh, that's why I say we need to find some spot that's crisp because uh, motion blur is just hard for a computer to, to etch out the green on without it making your his hand look like a nasty um, dinosaur hand uh, with a little speck on the side but but you know you're not gonna notice the motion blur that moves Do it! and one thing to note as it renders out some of that motion blur and things are gonna get more crisp uh, and you could do a pre-render if you wanted to kinda see before you did it but yes, you his green screen is still a touch off though and the reason why is because we did it we leveled him and it looks good but we changed the color of green a little bit so that might change our green screen and we got lucky that it's still really close but now that we brightened him up you can see the green uh, lines on his body and things like that too so before we fix it let's also do a touch of color correcting on Shia so just a color corrector. I'm gonna drop it on this clip right here. 
I'm gonna take the chroma off. I'm gonna leave the levels on. I, I usually levels first, then color correcting. Uh, it, to me, it makes no sense to do it the other way around. Uh, but that's a conversation for another video. So to kind of make him look more like he belongs there in that red background, I'm gonna kind of add some red in the shot just a little bit. And this is not like best color correcting practice. There's a reason why there's all these complicated color wheels and, and ways to do it. But right now I'm moving, I'm trying to do two things. I'm trying to move away from the green because he's got a lot of green just shining on him right now and a little more towards the red. Uh, and so as you see, he's just a touch, just a bit, just a tiny bit more red. So we're going to go back to the chroma key. We're going to go to the color picker. We're going to pick the color one more time in the same spot because that seemed to be a good spot to do it. And now we're going to add it back. Ooh, see, it's messed up again now. Now we've got to kind of find that nice, happy medium of a spot. Let's look at our mask here. So one thing when you look at the mask, you want to make sure there's no stray white blob or anything sticking out. Um, see, and that's what the blur does if you look at the mask. And all that does is make it look less real. Let's see. So it kind of zeroes up about there. So that's without our color correction. See, the color correction is very minor. If you look, all it is is the kind of green sheen to his skin kind of turns a touch red. Uh, and and like I, I'm just doing a real quick dirty one. Um, he's still, you can still see the green reflection on his skin, and I don't like that, but sometimes you just got to live with what you got. And you can kind of, you can dial it out over time, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just covering the basics and that is definitely the basics so yeah so I'm trying to get as dialed in as I can without breaking it and I keep getting a little closer but then that breaks it right there okay so and I kind of juggle it to see if anything looks really weird before and after I do it ah oh, and yes here it is so his watch is floating <laughs> yeah, so uh, see how it turns red right next to his watch, and then we pop back out, and it looks like his skin color again. Um, that's because we've like overdone it just a little bit. So maybe if I dial it back just a touch, okay, that looks more normal. His watch is not floating anymore. So now we can kind of look at our finished project in the timeline. Some people dream success. While you're gonna wake up and work hard at it, nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else would quit, and you're not gonna stop there. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Yeah, there we go. That's how you green screen Shia LaBeouf in Vegas Movie Studio 14 Platinum. Thanks for watching Tech Dive. We do all sorts of computer enthusiast videos, uh, including uh, video and gaming. So thanks for watching. Check us out if you want to see more stuff like this. And like if this video helped you out. Thanks.